was some new colors shorter. Maybe I've got taller. Wouldn't that be nice? We are perfect. Okay. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Today we are doing the Brew Gourmet Tea Company subscription box and I have two boxes. I don't know why I have two boxes. Let me know. Did anyone else who was watching this get this one subscription box and did you get two boxes? Because I'm sure they could have just accidentally sent me two. They're in one packet. All right, let's just jump in because I'm very curious as to what is happening. So again, we open it up and I do think this is probably the most beautiful subscription box that I have tried. I love the box. I actually get a little bit of a close up on that. It's so pretty. The tissue paper is so nice. Hey, Samantha. Greg here, the happiness expert at Brew HQ. It's a weird and crazy time that we're going through right now, but I hope you are staying safe and managing to keep a positive in every day. Tea. This month we will bring you a unique tea that you have, that you might never have come across before. A green rooibos from South Africa. Now I have tried a green rooibos before and it was delicious. It's caffeine free and packed with antioxidants. A perfect natural pick me up for the body and mind. Stay in, stay safe. Love, Greg. All right, Greg, let's open this up. I always feel bad ripping the tissue paper because it's so beautiful. Oh, wow, I really ripped it. Okay, so this is what we have on our first look. So our discovery tea this month is from Africa. I mean, it quite clearly is from South Africa. I don't know why they've put Africa when in previous months it said India, not Asia, and Paraguay, not South America. But that's just coming from someone who has lived in Africa. That really bothers me. <laughs> it might not bother other people. It ticks me the wrong way. All right, so our teas. Oh, we've got a Cherry Bliss. And this tea is amazing, but I already have it, which means, guess what? It's going in our giveaway. And this is so good. If you have ever been to Australia, or you know someone who's been to Australia and bought you back a Cherry Ripe chocolate, this mixed with coconut milk. Mwah. Cherry bit, cherry ripe, trust me. So this, it's going in our giveaway. Now I haven't got this one, Orchid Green. I do like greens. This is green tea, apple cubes, lemon peel, freeze dried kiwi pieces. Ooh, yes please. Now one thing I do love about the brew subscription is that every month the three teas you get, you rate them between bin it, as in I didn't like it, like it, or love it. So each month they're getting to know you a little bit more and a little bit better and they tailor each box around your specific taste buds. So clearly they got it spot on with the Cherry Bliss because I really like that one. And my other tea is ooh, orange, which is an oolong. Oh, and again, I love oolongs. They are hitting it on the head this month. It's just an oolong. Okay. Let's give it a sniff. Let's give it a sniff. Oh my goodness. This smells so incredibly orangey. It smells like the orange cream from a tin of roses. Oh, wow. That smells incredible. I am very excited to try this. I'm also very curious to try this one as a cold brew. Yes, please. And then our discovery tea is our green rooibos. So let's see what they've said a little bit about this one. Known by the natives as Red Bush. Oh, I thought Red Bush was actually something slightly different. I thought Roybus and Red Bush were slightly different. <laughs> the leaf is hand picked, chopped, and left to cure outside in the mountain air, slowly turning a deep red colour. Much of the world's Roybus comes from this region, but this month we are celebrating a very rare and sought after green Roybus. Typically made by small holdings of low volume, the oxidation of the leaf is stopped by the 
application of heat, which packs in more of the health benefits of the tea, health benefits of the tea, keeping it at its rawest, greener colour form. Dropping things as usual. Well, that is very interesting, and I'm actually very excited to try these teas, and I'm very excited that one of the teas that I absolutely love gets to go to one of you guys. So if you want to win that bundle we saw earlier, you've got to help me get to a thousand subscribers. And our snack, baby pineapple. I love snacks, vegan snacks, gently dehydrated. I was just dried pineapple pieces, yum. Why do I always go to smell things? I clearly was never gonna smell this through the packet. <sighs> okay, well, box number one, huge success. Let's see what's in box number two and why I have a box number two. Again, we open it up and we've got this, but it doesn't have a note, so there's usually a note. Ooh, I almost didn't rip that. Again, we've got the same um, Africa information card. So I'm guessing this is the same rooibos. So you know what that means. Giveaway. Again, we have the dehydrated, pine dehydrated pineapple pieces. We also have a dairy milk chocolate bar. And our teas, Ooh. Ruby Sunset, which is a green, green tea pumpkin cubes, interesting. Orange peel, carrot flakes, natural flavoring. Giving it a sniff. This is far too intriguing. Pumpkin and carrot and a tea. Again, this smells so good. I'm just getting all the orangey yumminess. Wow. I don't know how they continue to blow my mind. I had their subscription box for two months and then I was like, I need to try more of this tea, like now. And they had their advent calendar on reduced price, so I got that. So I got another 26 teas come through and yet I'm still being amazed. White pear, which is a blend. Centra green tea, dragon well lung, ching green, Yuhan black tea, white tea, flavoring mango cubes, pineapple flakes, and yellow rosebuds. Bloody hell, that was a lot. So I am just gonna smell this because there's a lot of ingredients and it sounds like it's gonna be right up my alley. I really am um, beginning to appreciate white teas. Very delicate, which isn't always my go-to need. Oh, ho, ho. I really needed a pick-me-up today and mission accomplished. It smells like, kind of smells like dehydrated fruit. It also smells like sweets. And I cannot put my finger on what kind of sweet. Oh, but it smells incredible. Oh my goodness. Wow. Actually, a little, a little added from all the fumes. And our final tea from this box is a by Madame. Uh, I'm going to show you because I don't want to mess up the pronunciation. I presume this is a region in China. And I did already get this one in the advent calendar. So this is a Chinese white tea and white peony flowers. And because I already have it, what does that mean? Giveaway. If you are interested in that giveaway, then I will be going out when I hit a thousand subscribers. We are now over 200, so we are a fifth of the way there. So I got given eight teas. I am now left with five teas. I don't want to try five teas right now, but as the usual, I've opened a box. Let's do a review. I will try some of these. So what are we most interested in? I'm asking you as if you're about to instantly shout back at me. Although whatever I do pick, you can shout back at me in the comments if I didn't pick the ones you wanted me to try. I think, oh, I think we're gonna have to go white pear blend and the ooh, orange oolong. Because these two smell 
divine. All right, I'm gonna go stick the kettle on and I'll meet you back in a sec. So our colorings for these teas, the white pear, um, not coming off quite as good as it is in real life. Um, it's very light, pale yellow color. And then our oolong is a very nice, like mid brown caramelly color. So I believe these are both now gonna be cool enough to drink and I am very excited to try both of those. So the smell from the cup from the white pear, very similar to the bag. You've got those fruity notes coming through. It just smells so inviting. And the taste. Mm. Unsurprisingly, it's on a very similar taste palette to their Bird of Paradise blend, which of course, because I said I loved that blend, so they have tailored this box to my tastes. This is a delicate flavoring, but it's still got like a full body mouthfeel. Contradicting sentences, Samantha. Let's see what are the flavors that we can pick out the most. I believe it's the apple. Is there an apple in here? So there's no apple. It's mango and pineapple cubes. It's the pineapple. I'm definitely getting more pineapple than mango. Lots of different types of tea in here. You can taste the censure, but it's balanced so nicely with the white tea. And if you didn't tell me, I would never have guessed that there was a black tea in here. Mm. The rosebuds aren't particularly coming through for me, but it is a yellow rosebud, which I'm not familiar with the specific taste of. I really, really enjoy this. This is a five out of five, would drink again, would purchase again tea for me. That was so good. I can imagine drinking that hot when I'm cold. I can imagine drinking it cold when I'm hot. I can imagine it with lemonade. I can't imagine it's a cocktail, which we all know is where my mind goes, because it's so good as a tea. I don't want to alter the flavors too much. I just want to revel in what I am given. So next up is our ooh, orange. There's a bird in Nepal that makes this ooh, noise that <laughs> we all would just make fun of completely. That's why I went, Oh, orange. Um, okay, that was a backstory. We didn't need the smell. I'm very orangey. Still, still giving me hints of roses, orange cream. It's got like that almost chocolatey note, but I know there's no chocolate. Just it was just the oolong tea. So I love. I love their packaging because they clasp shut so well. The only thing is they look beautiful, but these are so ditty. I'm so scared that I'm gonna break them all the time. But they do have a nice bottom so they stand up on their own. What you actually came from, the taste. And it tastes as it smells, which you can't say for all teas, but. Now it smells very sweet. And it's more on the savory note of an oolong, but it's not savory. It's definitely, it, it tastes, I don't know how it tastes like orange if it's just oolong, but. This to me is more of a winter drink. I want to make up as a latte and I want to snuggle up and I just want to drink this and be comforted. It's quite warm today. It's not exactly what I want for today, but. I will drink this. This is not going to waste. Mm. This was exactly the pick me up I needed today. This box was top notch. Would recommend. If you would like to try it, then with your brew subscription, you can invite up to three friends and their first box is half price. So it's five pounds instead of 10 pounds. And then that just means that I get a little bit of money off of my next box. So. That's not why I'm saying it, but if you would like to try a box, then three of these teas plus your discovery tea for five quid. I mean, I would. 
I paid 10 quid for this and I'm still happy. So let me know in the comments if you would like to have the um, special off and I'll just get your email off you and send it to you. <coughs> if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing because we are over 200 subscribers and we need to get to a thousand for the giveaway. So what is that? Bring you back to that giveaway. Pretty good giveaway. All right, well, I hope you did enjoy this video and having a fantastic day. I will see you in the next one.